The Chart of Accounts is the hub for all of your accounting. This video will give you a basic overview in how to understand and use the Chart of Accounts in QuickBooks. The Chart of Accounts allows you to assess how your business is doing by categorizing all of your financial transactions. But the Chart of Accounts can often be difficult to read. And that's why accountants have devised different financial statements, like the balance sheet and the profit and loss statement, which take information from the chart of accounts and put it into a more readable format. Let's take a look at the chart of accounts by clicking on Accounting from the navigation bar. The order of accounts that appear on the chart of accounts is determined by the account type. The type of account also determines which financial statement it appears on and how you use it on transactions. The chart of accounts displays the type of each account here in the type column. In the first section of the chart of accounts, you see asset accounts and then scrolling down there is also liability accounts and equity accounts. These accounts are organized in the same manner as the balance sheet. Scrolling down further, you'll also see revenue, cost of sales and expense accounts. These accounts appear in the exact same order as they appear on the profit and loss statement. When you create a new account, you scroll to the top of the chart of accounts and then click New. The very first thing that QuickBooks asks you to enter is the account type at the top of the balance sheet accounts, followed by the profit and loss statement accounts. To set up a new account, all you have to do is select the type of account you want to create and then choose a detail type. The detail type does not determine how the account is used or how it's displayed on a financial statement. It's merely more information that you enter into QuickBooks as a description. Choosing a detail type is not critical, so simply take your best guess. Then enter a name for the account that you're creating up here at the top right. QuickBooks also gives you a separate description field and you can make a sub-account of another account. Finally, if you're entering an account that appears on the balance sheet, you can also enter the opening balance here and the as of date for when you had that balance. This is most common for new bank and credit card accounts. Once you're done entering your account information, click Save and Close. And now the account appears on the chart of accounts and you can use it just like any normal account. So let's see how the chart of accounts is affected when we enter a new transaction. Let's say our business takes out a small business loan which will affect the cash account because it's going to be increased by the amount of the deposit. The other account that will be impacted is a small business loan liability account that has already been set up. Let's enter that transaction in QuickBooks by opening the Create menu and then selecting Bank Deposit. We're going to deposit the small business loan into our cash account. So that's the first account selected up here at the top right of the screen. Down here at the bottom, let's enter the loan details. First, we received the money from the bank that gave us the loan. Then in the account area right here, we'll enter the small business loan liability account that we already have set up on our chart of accounts. Here in the description field, we can enter any other details such as the loan number or our account number with the bank, and we can also record the payment method along with reference details in the reference number field. And finally, we'll enter the amount of the loan right here. Now let's save and close. Through the entry of that transaction, we can see that the cash account is increased by $15,000. And scrolling down, the small business loan liability account has also increased by $15,000. Remember to set up an account for anything that's important for you to see, to make good decisions or to track for tax purposes. Now, get started.